So before Canada and before the United States, indigenous nations were masters in their own territory. We had philosophies, we had psychology, we had governance systems, we had food and military security, we had religious thought, political beliefs, ceremonies. We were a strong people. The last 150 years have been a struggle of survival for our people. Our way of life, which has been developed with precision over many centuries, was disrupted, 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 not extinguished. Reconciliation is really about peaceful coexistence, restoring balance in relationships, and living together in mutual respect and harmony. Is Canada ready for reconciliation? Peter Lake, you cannot have an independent people who rely upon money from somewhere else, and this is why we have to build economies. We need strong, sustainable economies to get there. But what is that to, indi to indigenous people? The NCIED build capacity for governance for nations, and we foster wise practices, learning from what has worked. But then you've still got to build entrepreneurs, your community corporations, and your nation initiative in a way that reflects who we are. Indigenous entrepreneurs build businesses differently. And it's with a paradigm of shared value rather than an individualism paradigm. So as Indigenous peoples, we believe that humans exist in a reciprocal relationship with the land. Now, this connection with the land and the community provides identity. And this becomes a fertile ground to nourish culture and the seeds of opportunity for sustainable economies. In the world of economic development, what we're trying to relay, we bring it down to four elements of land, legal and governance structures, opportunity drivers, business development capacity. And the base is the land which things grow from. These layers or these levels here represent different ways of asserting, practicing and maintaining powers of of self-governance or autonomy or self-determination that's responsible to the earth and our stories, our elders and our future generations. I think it is a question of values. We have to live our values. We have to be who we say we are. You know, I think a lot of people do value accumulation of money. I think in their lives, the way they make decisions, the way they live, a thousand years ago in the Haida Nation, or any, any and most indigenous nations, people got power from the respect of their peers. And there was nothing more powerful than in the potlatch system than giving away everything you owned. That people valued that. Every indigenous community, I am sure, in embracing the word economics, will have a different take on it. Economics is the management of our home. Ecology is the study of our home. And I think uh, too often today, we forget the eco part of economics. So my cry is, let's put the eco back into economics. And indigenous people understand that very, very much. When they moved into new ecosystems, they didn't know how it all worked. They didn't suddenly magically talk about sustainability. They, they knocked things out. Like, like all of us would in these new areas. And then they began to learn from the lessons of their ancestors. And all of that was incorporated into the body of indigenous knowledge, which was about how you live in this place. That is, to me, the basis of, of sustainability. 
And that knowledge is thousands and thousands of years old and will never be duplicated by science. Science will never be able to do that. The only way I believe that we have to guide us into finding a new way of living is the indigenous communities. Sometimes I think it's as simple as all of us just understanding who we are and being who we say we are. We're just looking for new ideas and looking at ways of going forward and building sustainable um, economies that reflect indigenous cultures and, and you know reflect who this nation we're attempting to build together. That's what reconciliation's about.